Hello everyone and welcome back to another pair video on the channel. My name is Antoine and today we have an iPhone 11 Pro with multiple problems from great Wi-Fi to great Bluetooth and no modem fiber. So just basically a connection problem between the main board and the RF board. So it's definitely not a software problem. So when you have this problem and you don't have the tools or the knowledge to make hardware repairs like this, uh, just Stop this video and go to a good repair technician so he can fix it for you. If not, then just keep watching this video. And if you're curious about this repair, then of course, continue watching. We also have a problem with the, uh, the screen is not a genius screen because they already changed the screen without swapping the uh, the touch AC on the on the screen. But this is not the main problem today, and as you can see, we don't have a modem firmware, and also the Wi-Fi address is missing. And when you dial uh, 06, uh, star hashtag 06, we don't have IME, so it's definitely a board repair and hardware repair. So let's jump under the microscope. So not much to say here. The phone had an impact, but the board looks in good condition nobody worked on it before so i'm the first one that going to separate the boards and yep everything looks fine i guess nothing suspicious even you cannot see under the microscope if you have a great great pads when it comes from the factory itself so now we're going to remove those stickers that are protecting the board from corrosion or from water damage, uh, from water damage, and uh, separate the boards. Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of missing pads, and you can see our problem. And those pads are related to the modem, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth, and the connection between the upper board and the upper board. And uh, also, I skipped the part where I separate the boards because time of this video. Uh, but I saw a lot of you like the details, so I will try to include every small detail in my future videos. So we're going to clean both uh, sides of the boards and see if we also have more separated paths from the root. So we can do our jumpers and uh, we hope uh, that we are fix our problem. So we need to clean all the paths on both sides of the board and after that we're going to check if we have uh, more missing paths. Uh, usually when you have small impact like this you always end up with missing paths from the upper board. Except if you have some sort of dent or something. So basically the quality of those boards, the sandwiches boards, just keeps to go lower and lower. And also we are going to do the same for the upper board, but I'm going to skip uh, the part where I clean the upper board. And I will catch you after we uh, clean both boards. So let's go. Alrighty, both boards are clean and we will start to check all the missing pads. Usually they must have those three or two points, little points you can see here. So those are the root of uh, of the pad we're going to scratch them with our thin blade and then we will start making jumpers of course everyone has his own way of doing jumpers and of course me too so in this repair i'll be showing how do i do jumpers for the sandwich boards with our coil wire they are very thin like 0.1 millimeters uh, i'm not going to use the soldering lug for this repair uh, so those pads will be repaired by the old school basic uh, jumpers but first, let's just jump to ZXW because we have a lot of missing pads. Uh, of course, most of them uh, could be ground, but just to make sure the work of each pad. So I'm not going to make this a long explanation. Here we go with our ZXW, just zoom in a little bit. And most of the pads that are missing are from this part over here. So let's begin with our first part. I hit ZXW on... So this is uh, aligned to the low band antenna and over here for the medium UHP antenna okay something to do with the Wi-Fi or the 2G I guess uh, this is something to do with the transceiver CBR, XCBR or so over here we have missing pads so as you can see those most of the pads are ground from this side and also this side and the rest is something to do with the baseband as you can see a signal line from the PCIe AP2 baseband and it's the same over here and something to do with the, wi the Wi-Fi so Wi-Fi uh, baseband modem firmware and of course the Bluetooth so now let's jump uh, 
to the repair one. So I'll be demonstrating a couple of those jumpers, how I do them and how I solder them. So the main thing is that your root must have a little solder on it so it can be attached or soldered with a jumper. So just a little bit of flux, solder and paste and you're good to go. And then I make the jumper individually and just solder it with my hot air station. Don't use too much heat and uh, after that just close it with mask and let it dry under the ultraviolet lamp. And as you can see we have a lot of missing pads that I'm not going to do them because they are ground. So the ground can be missed, but the main thing is to make the important pads, which as I said in the ZXW. And after that, uh, we're going to test our work, so I'll catch you after we uh, finish our all jumpers. So as you can see, we finished everything, all the jump looks okay, I tested them on my multimeter, uh, the ones that have values showed me on the multimeter, and now we're going to go and test it uh, before we solder the boards together on my board tester and see if we have our Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and modern firmware back. So now we're going to the fun part, which is testing the boards after we make our jumpers. Uh, just to make sure that everything is okay before we solder the boards together, the RF board and the upper board. And uh, we're also going to connect our uh, charging flex because it has the antenna so we can test uh, the service. And also I inserted the SIM card, a SIM card. So now we're going to uh, check uh, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi and the modem firmware because those are our main problem this video and those are also the main problems that we need to repair as you can see we have wi-fi the wi-fi is not grayed out anymore but we don't have a wi-fi antenna connected so that's why we don't have our networks and let's just go to about and see if we have everything yep we have our modern firmware our wi-fi address and our bluetooth address and now let's just go and check just zoom in a little bit Yep, as you can see, we have uh, our LTE, we have our service, and now let's just go and dial and see if we can dial. I didn't connect the upper flex and we don't have the, uh, the speaker, so you can hear, but everything looks okay. And now for the final part, which is soldering everything back together and put everything back together for the final test. Uh, so yeah, let's go. So now the final test, everything is connected and now we're going to 
uh, put everything together in the in the body or in the housing. Wait for the phone to boot up as always. And now put the password. Insert the SIM card. I didn't connect the Face ID, but as you can see, we have the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and no SIM sign. So everything looks okay. The Wi-Fi. And yep, as you can see, our networks, everything looks okay, nothing suspicious. And now we're going to dial and see if we have, yep, we have a service. Now let's just go and dial and everything is, if everything is okay, then this is our uh, final test, as I, as I always uh, write in the description. And let's just go and connect to our Wi-Fi also. Just to make sure that everything is working okay. If everything is working okay, that means that the end of the video, as always, <laughs> for the final test. Yep. Yep, as you can see, we hear everything from the call. So, yep, yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If the video was helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for additional content in the future. As always, stay safe and have a good day. And I'll catch you guys in another repair video. Peace out.